Okay, just a quick update on what I've been working on on the plugin. So I've got workplaces over here. I can select them by going through here. I'm just going to pick one. Uh, got tool details up here. A bunch of information about whether the touch probe of the tool setters activated position spindle doesn't do anything apart from show whether it's on or off at the moment uh, probing window via here um, if the probe's not active it asks you to activate it I'm gonna go vice corner put some details in 50.8 tab tab 76.2 front left corner you can see it updates the box on the right to show which one you've got selected uh, depth 5, surface clearance 10, corner clearance 10, over travel 15 because I'm well, yeah. screwing around with a 1, 2, 3 block. You can see there. Oh, I didn't put it in the right position. Hold on, I'm going to have to do this. Uh, y minus 50. Oh, protected moves are disabled. Put protected moves back on, and then doo -doo -doo. I'm just getting as close to the corner as I can. And I reckon that's about on it. So I've just been jogging using this window, which is on the move to position thing um, you can go backwards and forwards between these windows like that uh, when I'm in the right position go to review and run you can see it prints the command there I'm gonna make that nicer by having it print the settings or something like that and then I hit run cycle and you can tell it's probing there but also get a nice view on here showing how far it is through the probing cycle. So you can see it's got two of three, it's got three surfaces to do and X number of points overall. And then it has a sample, which is the number of retries per probe, which resets. So it's doing the last surface now. And then that goes back to the probing thing and you can see down here it has loaded the probing information into that workplace and that's it thought well, that's pretty cool